Wait, what? What size is it? Oh shit! I might need that. Later, bro. Oh, hear me here. Three inch. Oh, she's tiny as fuck. Is it good connection though? Like, or not? Okay, I'm with my boy Dabsy. Wait, where is he? There he is. I think he's in shot. And we've just. Dabsy says hi. <laughs> we've taken a long drive from Perth. It's taken us about three and a half hours to get out here. And we've come to this place. Uh, it's called Wave Rock. That local Aboriginal story goes that in the dream time, a big giant serpent. Serpent? Snake. Snake. Let's go with snake. Crawled through here. Shout out Snake FPV. <laughs> yeah, Snake FPV. There's a shout out, bro. Um, might as well tag you up on the on the wall as well. Or maybe not. Uh, the story goes that a big giant Dreamtime serpent crawled through here, creating this wall. I'm not sure if I'm getting a very good. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting this in shot, but <laughs> well, you know what's about to happen next. Okay, we've just left Wave Rock and we've just driven down to what's known as Hippo's Yawn. Wait, can you see that? Can I get myself in the background? Oh, there we go. I have to crouch a little bit. Okay, it's just some like weird rock formation. <laughs> and that is my boy Dabsy. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up, guys? So Hippo's Yawn is just down from uh, Wave Rock. There's a walk trail that you can do. Um, you can do a bit of sightseeing, but <laughs> what? <laughs> I got my boy vlogging oh, in the shit, background as well. I didn't, I didn't notice you there, bro. Oh, good, dude. Oh, good. Hey. Um, so yeah, we drove down well. We're trying to save our energy for flying. Speaking of which. Okay, so I barely got a battery in. Neither did I. <laughs> yeah, neither did Dabsy. Um, where is he? Um, I had a crash pretty easily. And then Dabsy crashed. And we're putting it down just as some battery packs. And then, boom. A bus load. Or let's call it a little bus load of people rocked up. And it's like, oh, uh, go away. This is where I fly drones. All good, all good. I think we're going to leave. Yo, what's that? We can either be illegal... Yeah, or we could just be complete assholes and just fly and say, get out. <laughs> no, I don't think we can do that. Okay, um, so the hippo's yawn looks awesome, but I think we're going to have to move on. Go find another one, another spot. Patience is key. Why? Why? Why do you want to know? Because if you have the patience, you have the pay, then you have the chin. <laughs> That's why. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bus. What? Hey, have, we, have we got him in shot? Uh, uh, Later, bus. Ciao, baby.
Konnichiwa. <laughs> Were they Japs? Japanese? They sounded Japanese. Wait, no, Konnichiwa is hello. Oh. oh, my bad. Are we going to do another battery? I think we have to, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was shocking effort that I just put in. Let's All right, it. let's do it. All right, it doesn't matter what you do here. People keep walking in. And the flies are horrible. Okay, so our last location is known as Malthus Cave, which, as you'll see, we could not fly. So we decided to chase the car on the dirt road on the way there. Unluckily, I ended up with a stick covering my GoPro. Um, however, it has given me the opportunity to show off some photos that we got from inside. Um, which is Aboriginal rock art, um, which could be dating from 40,000 years to 400 years old. Um, so apparently they would make a stencil with their hands and they would blow ochre or some type of dust that would leave a negative handprint. It was amazing. I've never seen any Aboriginal rock art before. This is my first time. So if you like my video, hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, smash that subscribe button. Uh, I've, I will definitely have more content coming out again soon. Thanks for watching.